Hi guys, Rod here. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, what's referred to as Turkish or Greek style coffee. And I uh, learned about this type of coffee doing some research on uh, the history of coffee and its origin. Um, some of the things we'll need are, uh, this is a mortar and pestle, um, and you can buy these online. Uh, if you look Google uh, granite uh, mortar and pestle, and a company called Import Food um, makes one, and uh, I think it's a six or seven inch diameter opening, and they're very heavy and durable. Get a look at it there. And uh, uh, most people, I believe, make Turkish or Greek style coffee with a different grinder, specialized grinder that you turn and uh, I, I decided to go this route. So the Grand Mortar Pestle, a regular coffee grinder, and uh, a wooden spoon with a nice curved edge if you have one, and uh, a metal strainer with a nice fine grade. You want to try to find one with the finest grade uh, uh, screen on it. And uh, uh, so we'll get started. We start by with the regular standard coffee grinder by uh, you want to fill it up with coffee beans. We'll fill that up. The top level of the coffee grinder. Regular, this is the regular coffee grinder. So we're going to use this to get the uh, consistency, to break it down, the coffee, in the first stage, to get it to smaller particles, and then it will transfer it into the uh, mortar and pestle. grind it up a little bit. You don't have to go uh, too long with that. You just want to get it to kind of a normal ground coffee uh, consistency. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and then we just take that and we just dump it into the mortar and pestle like that. Alrighty. And now the, the next stage is to actually grind this. Uh, and I like to do it uh, sitting in my lap. You can also do it on the counter if you have a sturdy surface. Alright, so we just uh, basically um, I just, just sit in the chair and uh, start pounding away at it um, and uh, it, it's a pounding motion most of the energy is in lifting the, um, the uh, pestle part of the uh, contraption and dropping it in and uh, you can put a little bit of uh, muscle behind it basically it's pound away at this breaking down the coffee into smaller particles and eventually into a very fine powder almost like powdered sugar type of consistency. It doesn't take very long. The whole process is approximately five to ten minutes. Um, and then that's enough coffee that will last me about five days. And, uh, and so basically I'll pound it a few times and then, uh, and then turn the pestle and kind of redistribute the particles to keep on getting a more consistent smaller particle size. You can see kind of how it's progressing here. You see this, the particles are pretty small already. We're getting a lot of fine uh, powdery coffee in there. All right. After about two minutes of pounding away, uh, like a caveman uh, or somebody living in an ancient civilization, uh, you're ready to basically we'll filter out the, uh, the larger particles and, uh, and, and get the, uh, the finely ground coffee powder uh, that we'll end up using to make the uh, the final product. All right, back at the counter here, and we're just going to uh, pick up the pestle, and uh, I like to use just an old, kind of a clean magazine kind of thing to uh, to uh, filter the, uh, the uh, coffee onto. And before we do that, we'll uh, to use our wooden uh, spatula and go inside the mortar pestle and just uh, kind of loosen all of the uh, powdered coffee. Put all of it. And we just pick up the mortar pestle and we dump it into the, uh, the strainer. And then we just take it basically, uh, we'll shake it uh, back and forth, and you can see the powdered coffee is dropping onto the, uh, the surface there. And uh, it takes just a few seconds to get most of the, uh, you can see the fine powdered coffee is being filtered out, and what's left over is. Uh, larger particles, and so we'll go to the second stage of, of uh, 
of uh, pounding uh, the coffee here. So we dump that, dump the uh, uh, remaining large particles in back into the mortar and pestle. All right, and after we've uh, filtered out all this wonderful, uh, very finely ground, almost like uh, powder coffee, I'll just pour it, lift up my uh, magazine there and I'll pour it uh, into a container. And uh, like I said, we'll just work on grinding up the remainder of the coffee here. So we're repeating the process, and we've got just a little bit of coffee grounds left in here. And uh, kind of pound away and, and grind it up into smaller particles. Usually get a bit of a rhythm going. Do some pounds, and then we'll grind in circular motion. All right, we've got into a uh, another uh, uh, round of very fine uh, powdered coffee, ready to be filtered out. So we've got the strainer, and uh, let's loosen up the pieces in there. Yeah, and we'll just repeat the process again. And we'll shake the strainer over the surface there, and you'll see the fine coffee particles coming through there. And we just have a little bit left of the uh, you know, larger particles and we'll just do a last grinding session on those. Um, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, this is the final grinding session, and basically this time around we're just finding, uh, we're just grinding this down to a uh, last bit here to a, a powder. All right, so we're just gonna get the last bit of fine coffee grinds here, powdery, and I'll just scoop it in this time into the. Uh, Trainer. All right, so we're done with the mortar and pestle, and just uh, one last strain, get all these really fine coffee particles uh, that we want. And you can see that's basically what we're left over, we'll just throw that away. Add this to our supply. It's kind of getting pretty full there. But, uh, okay, now we're ready to make Turkish coffee.